in my 90th year, I haven't got a great deal of time and I've got years to cover. And I'll go as far as I can. I hope to get almost to the end because I want to reach the period in Picasso's life when I knew him well and saw him on a very regular basis and he was extremely generous with information and answered questions, which he didn't always do. Picasso met Marie Therese when he was cruising the Grand Boulevard and she would be really one of the great loves of his life. Marie Therese, who lived by the river and kayaked all the time, was in her kayak. It rolled over, she was pinned under the water, very nearly drowned, got infected, there were rats in the river, and she lost her hair, but she was rescued all right. And Picasso was obsessed by this incident. And there are many, many, many canvases and references to it. And here is Marie Therese rescuing Marie Therese from the water with a third Marie Therese down there. Dora Ma was a good friend of mine, and she told me a whole lot of things. She understood Picasso intellectually much better than any of the other mistresses. She was brought up in Argentina, very beautiful, very intelligent, and very, very masochistic. That was always something of an appeal to Picasso. Dora is nearly always black, tragic images. I mean, he very often portrays her as crying, and she became the weeping woman in Guernica. Francoise, you and Picasso took this painting to show it to Matisse. Well, you see, at that time, Matisse was not in good health, and so to cheer him up, we used to go there about twice a month and bring drawings and also some paintings. To show him, not to give him. No, <laughs> exactly. So that time, Picasso had brought this, which is called a landscape in winter. Matisse saw that, he was absolutely enchanted. He said, oh, I have to have it. Physically, she was exactly what he wanted in his work. Cezanne's favorite motif was this Mont Saint-Victoire, and his house was on the slopes of this mountain. And I used to say to Picasso, how are you going to paint the Montagne Saint-Victoire? And Picasso said, well, you'll see. He did Jacqueline in the shape of this. Her head is one end of this mountain range, and he very ingeniously sort of did a sort of pan on Cezanne by having this mountain full on, but turning it into Jacqueline. No holes were barred. I mean, they're very in your face. Picasso's considered this modern master, so that just closes him into a, some kind of box. In a way, I think he is much more contemporary than people would like to admit. Many things that are possible today are possible because of some of the things he did. He challenged the craft itself, and I think every time, everything went the way he decided it would go. And this is very striking. He had this confidence about himself. Once he set himself to do something, to work on something, he really went at it with great immediacy and determination. 